Hey everyone, in today's Photoshop video, I wanna show you how to whiten teeth in Photoshop. So if you have slightly yellow teeth, there's a simple way and a simple tool you could use inside of Photoshop to make it nice and white. And I bought this stock image from shutterstock.com so I could walk you through this video. This is part of my Photoshop for Beginners course. So if you're interested in learning more about Photoshop, I'll put a link to that course in the description right below this video. So with our image open here, the first thing I usually do is I press this lock icon. This will just unlock my image here so I could actually make any kind of edit to it. That's just by habit and I recommend you do the same. Now make sure you zoom in as much as you can to the teeth area here. So you could go ahead and use the zoom tool, which is over here on the left side. Go ahead and click the zoom tool and just zoom in as tight as you can. Now, the first thing we want to do before we widen the teeth is we want to select them and isolate the teeth. We don't want to interfere with the rest of the image. One of my favorite selection tool is the lasso tool here. So if you click and hold on it, you basically want to choose the first one, lasso tool. The keyboard shortcut for it is L if you want to choose it that way. Now here I want to click and drag and I want to include as much of the teeth here as I can without really interfering with the lips here. So I'm going to just go around here the best I can freehand. And as soon as I come around the corner and I close it here, it will have my selection drawn for me. Now I could go ahead and right click here and do layer via copy. Select this option and it basically, if you look over here, now you have a new layer called layer one and my layer zero, I could click this eyeball just to turn it off. So you could see I'm just focusing on the teeth. Once we make our changes and make this teeth white, we could turn this other layer back on. Let's keep it off right now. And to whiten teeth, the tool we're gonna use is called the dodge tool. The keyboard shortcut for it is O. But if you click and hold down, it has three different options under the dodge tool. Dodge tool, burn tool, and sponge tool. So we'll use a couple of these to make this happen. Right now, let's start with the dodge tool. And here, the black circle here, not the blue one, that's my highlighter just for this video, but the black one is huge. I need to make it a bit smaller. So usually when you pick a brush just like the dodge tool, you'll have all these selections on top. So first thing we wanna do is we wanna click this drop down and change the size. So let's bring it down to closer to 100. Now I could come and see, yeah, that's much better. Even lower here, maybe 75 could be better. Now this depends on the size of your image, so it's not always the same size, but you want something like this. This is about a quarter size of an individual tooth here is my brush size. Hardness, we have to make sure it's at zero because we don't want to really create hard edges here. So zero usually works well for this. That's the settings here. The rest I leave pretty much the same. So ranges at mid-tone, exposure around 70 is okay. And everything else is exactly as you see here. Now, if I come down here and if I just drag, it immediately is making the teeth a little bit wider as I just drag through here. So let me go ahead and actually increase my brush size just a little bit so it's a little bit faster. So I'll just kind of go over and widen my teeth here. I don't want to go too far into the black areas. I really want to focus on these center teeth. But I'll go ahead and just scrub through here and make these a little bit wider. Now we could turn this layer off now that I've done my whitening and turn the other layer on. This was the layer we started with. So now if I turn on the top layer, you could kind of see a before and after. But we have still a lot of yellow here, so we're gonna use a different tool to get rid of that yellow. That one is called the sponge tool. So again, hold down on the dodge tool with your mouse, click and hold, and choose sponge tool this time. And sponge tool, same thing on top. You choose your brush size. So I could see that my brush size is too big, so I'm gonna again bring it back to what the other one was, around 85. So now I could see that it's a little bit smaller. But what I really care about is this mode right here. We wanna make sure the mode is set to desaturated because we wanna remove the yellow. Desaturation means taking away the color here. So I'll choose that and flow is at 50%, that's okay. And we wanna make sure vibrance is turned off. Vibrance again is color and saturation. So we don't want that and we're gonna leave this checked off. 
So here you see the yellowness right here. If I click and drag here, it's just basically making it black and white. So it's removing the yellow by desaturating it. This is a really cool technique. Just kind of moving the yellow out of the teeth. And it works in combination with making the teeth whiter. So I basically use this two different tools on top of each other to kind of get the best whitening effect I could get. And the reason why I made the selection to start with is I can't move any of the color on the lips here because it's not part of my selection. So that's why I did the selection before we started this process. So do this as much as you like here. And let's say I'm done here for the sake of this video. Let's go ahead and look at before and then let's look at after. If you missed any areas here, you could go back again to the dodge tool and add to the whiteness of the teeth here if you wanted to do that. And there's one more tool called the burn tool. If you think your effect is too much, you could select the burn tool and subtly just apply a little bit of darkness to the teeth if you want to. And since this is its own layer here, the whitening effect is on its own layer, we could change the opacity of that layer. So I could come on, take the opacity. If I take it to zero, nothing's happening. A hundred is my full effect, but I could bring it down if I think it's a little bit unnatural and I went overboard with the whitening. So I'll bring it down a little bit. Now let's look at before and after, and it's a lot more real. Now, once you zoom back out to your full image, this should be a very subtle effect. So don't overdo it, but I wanted to show you how white you could go with this effect. And that's how you make teeth whiter in Photoshop. Again, this is part of my full, nearly 100 video course on Photoshop. So if you want to completely master Photoshop, make sure you check out the link in the description. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.